are following breaking news for the first time since the MBTA went into complete rail shutdown. We are hearing from the T's general manager. Beverly Scott defending her decision to halt service and speaking really passionately about the need for significant investment in the system. News Center 5's Jim Loke live from the T's operations center with the latest. Jim? She was extraordinarily defiant. We are here at South Station this noon, and you saw Beverly Scott live on WCVB.com. And what a mess it could have shaped out to be this morning for a lot of people who depend on trains and depend on the T. I want to show you Forest Hill Station, though, today. That's where we were earlier on this morning, taking a look at the commute for a lot of people. And people who use Forest Hills were relying on buses to get from point A to point B. Many of them are running, many of them running on frequent basis. But we can tell you that there in Forest Hills, of course, a place where you see the T, commuter rail, and buses all converge into one place. Now, when Beverly Scott spoke to the media just about a half hour ago, she made it clear that in spite of the calls for her resignation, she's not going anywhere. This ain't this woman's first rodeo. This is not a spring chicken system by any stretch of the imagination. And if anyone, and we have more intelligent people per mile in these communities than you can shake a stick at, for anyone to have any belief that a system that's over 100 years old, that's got equipment, much of it that is running out there on this red and this orange lines that are at much over capacity can continue without with the age that it is and to think that it's going to have the resilience to wind up rebounding and flying like an eagle that is absolutely the epitome of and I'm not going to say foolish so this was a perfect storm so you heard the mention about resignation. Another thing that came out of this press conference, much has been made about Governor Baker's displeasure with how the T's operated over the last couple of days. Beverly Scott says at no point did the governor discuss operations of the T with her, although that is planned for later this week. So there is still a lot to be done here, and there's still no word exactly when the T will get operations back up and running. Kelly Tuthill was in that press conference. You'll certainly be hearing more about that throughout the course of the day here on News Center 5. But still... Empty inside here at South Station. A couple of Amtrak trains running, and even those are delayed at this point. Long way to go, it seems. For now, live at South Station, I'm Jim Loke, WCBB, New Center 5.